Uh, back in Iowa, you had a full slew of events today. So how you been? How you doing? Doing great. Actually, this is the favorite part of the campaign to me. Put aside all the national media and the administrative stuff, roomfuls of citizens here in this state having honest conversations. There's a reason why Iowa goes first. There's a reason why we're spending so much time here. I'm not playing the same game as the other candidates. I think that the super PACs are a cancer on American politics, and most of the ads that people see, probably even on this channel, are paid for by somebody else's super PAC. I reject that. I want to do this grassroots, bottom up, let the people of this country actually decide. And so that's why we're spending so much time on the ground. We're going to get to what Iowans are talking about here in just a second, but I want to talk about uh, the Israel Hamas war and your comments on it. I just want to know why you think you're the only candidate who is expressing to, hey, let's see a clear plan of action once Israel goes into Gaza compared to, I guess, other candidates. Why do you think that is? I think there's a culture of fear amongst Republicans. I think that the other candidates are unsure what to say, and the establishment hands down talking points about what you're supposed to say on certain issues. I reject that. I don't come from that establishment. I've seen what this country has gone through in the wake of 9-11, a tragedy, after which we committed terrible mistakes. Six and a half trillion dollars wasted. Two wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, sacrificing thousands of American lives. I don't want to see us make those same mistakes again. I don't want to see Israel make those same mistakes. And so people are worried, are you, is that, does that mean you're going to be anti-Israel if you ask these questions? No, that's not anti-Israel. That is pro-Israel, but even more importantly for me, it is pro-America. We need free speech and open debate now more than ever in times of crisis. Free speech isn't just for when times are easy, it's when for times are hard. And so, yes, I believe that we need clear answers to what exactly are the objectives of a ground invasion in Gaza. I understand the emotion. What Hamas did to Israel was wrong. It was immoral. It was barbaric and medieval. And Israel absolutely has the right to defend itself. But our job as a friend and ally is, especially if we're expected or asked to support this in any way, is to ask the questions of the why. What are we actually going to achieve? And that gives you a sense of how I will lead as commander in chief, not with emotion, some with corruption, making money by going into war. No, that's not how I lead. I will lead with cool headed rationality. That's how we make our best foreign policy decisions, even while we with emotion stand with our friends. And I think that's the combination we need. I want to shift to what Iowans are telling. You've got a full slate of events on Saturday. Yeah. You just wrapped up a town hall here in Indianola, heading out to some more as the sun's already yeah. down. So I guess what are Iowans communicating with you that's different from, I guess, just a couple of months ago? What are some of the issues that are top of mind? So I think we're seeing a lot of the standard issues relating to the border, dependence on China, growing the economy, national security concerns, and we're addressing those. But what I'm seeing in these rooms is that if you have a room full of people who are coming in, uncertain. People are coming out as volunteers for us in droves. But these are events with 50 people, 60 people at a time. It's in those intimate settings that we can get real, that we can really take off the guards that people otherwise have, give them permission to really speak openly. What I don't know is how that translates into the hundreds of thousands of people who participate on January 15th. But my bet is that the people who are in these rooms, small rooms like these, are going to tell their neighbors, talk about it with their family members and their classmates and their colleagues. And that starts a grassroots uprising to really answer a deeper question. What does it mean to be an American today? What is our national identity? We're missing a national identity in the United States of America. I'm a leader from a different generation. And I think it's going to take somebody from the new generation to reach the next generation. I was at Iowa City with a bunch of young college students a few nights ago. People who traditional Republican candidates and consultants would say, forget about them. They're never going to come along with us. I disagree. People are hungry for direction, young people in particular. We're bringing that to this race. And so I'm confident we can reunite this country and reunite this country. But we're going to require Iowa to come along with us in this caucus. And if I win the Iowa caucus on January 15th, I'll be the next president. I'm confident we can reunite and revive this country. But we're not going to do it alone. It's going to be all of us doing our part. And then just last question for you here, too. Appreciate your time. The caucuses here in the state, they're under 90 days away. So what's your plan, I guess, in these next three months or under three months? Are you, are you planning to start revving stuff up to uh, start gaining on the former president or start making away from the rest of the pack? Grassroots activation. This is bottom-up driven campaign. The guy who actually one of our state co-chairs, he ran Rick Santorum's campaign. Rick Santorum was polling lower than where I am in October of his year, ended up winning the caucus. We're running this very similarly, going to pizza ranches across the state, meeting people one-on-one. -on -one. We know how to do this. 
It's by being honest, transparent, making sure everybody in the state knows who we are and what we stand for. And I think that's going to be the winning formula. That decision doesn't belong to me. The beautiful part is it belongs to the people of Iowa. And my view is the Republican Party for a long time has been running from something. Now is our moment, though, to start running to something, to our vision of what it means to be an American today. Revive our national identity. The rest becomes easier. I'm also very clear about what we'll deliver in office. Shut down the deep state, the shadow government, the three-letter agencies as my domestic agenda. Declare independence from China abroad. Keep us out of World War III in the process and revive national pride. I know how to do those things. Now it's just about winning the election, starting with the caucus, and I'm confident we'll be able to do it. All right. Best of luck, Mr. Ramaswamy. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate it, man. Thank right. you. Good seeing you. You too.